we got a story about the FAA. How exciting. Yeah, um, I would say good news. I mean, if you don't care about compliance, you don't care about this, but this is pretty exciting, I think, for everybody. Uh, or should be. Uh, we were worried about the FAA approving FRIAs on time, and we were worried that the FAA wasn't going to be getting us FRIAs and going up to the letter and holding off on, uh, like, the FRIA PIA that we've talked about, all these kind of environmental mm -hmm. things. But today we got two approvals to the FPVFC. We got No Quarter Ranch, which is Multi-GP's headquarters, um, and we also got um uh a local flying field by one of our uh, members alex suarez and then also mm -hmm. we heard today that uh the jacksonville rc club got approved uh through the ama mm -hmm. um and yeah we've heard of a couple other ama approvals that i don't have documentation for this so it sounds like today was the the trigger day to go like all right we've got enough we're going to start approving free us yeah so uh I think that's just good news. I can't imagine why somebody would be upset because it's just making places where you're not going to have to comply. I'm upset because they didn't approve my house. Yeah, they're still definitely not going to approve residences, unfortunately. And anywhere in like a cul-de-sac, it seems like they're automatically declining. Yeah. Any, anything like that. So um, this is exciting because at least one of these was submitted by the FPV Freedom Coalition. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Two of these were. Yep. Right. So one of them was submitted by the AMA. So for those who don't know, a FRIA is a place where you don't have to remote ID, in short. And FRIAs must be submitted to the FAA through a community-based organization, which includes the AMA and the FPV Freedom Coalition, as well as others. And I, on some level, wondered if the AMA was going to get, like, special treatment. And by, by sheer coincidence, all of every, you know, the FPV Freedom Coalition's free applications would get delayed or some bullshit like that. And it turns out, right. apparently not. You guys got two through. Yeah, very exciting. That's, yeah, that is very exciting. And it uh, bodes well, I would say, moving forward. It's if you heard what we talked about with the free APIA, um, the PEA is the programmatic environmental assessment. And it sounded like we were essentially going to have to prove like, oh, no wildlife are here and no endangered species and there's no noise and there's not all, you know what I mean? It sounded like we we're going to have to do all these things. Uh, but yeah, they, they've gone past that and approved these places. So that's yeah, great. Exciting. Um, good job, FAA. You did anything right. <laughs> I guess I will, we'll, take, we'll take the we'll W's take where we can, can take the W's. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. I mean, like, you know, uh, despite the fact that overall this feels like a great big L, there are some little W's sprinkled in there. Yeah. At least we got some free us. So hey, yeah. what are you going to do? Uh, Freya is spelled F-R-I-A. Yeah. No. FAA recognized identification area. Yeah. 